Hi everyone, Erin here from Real Wig Fun. So I've had a couple of you asking me about short styles and you wanted to see more short styles. So here you go. So today I'm really excited because as you all know, I am a huge fan of Raquel Welch wigs. And this is a brand new style from the 2022 spring collection from Raquel Welch. And this gorgeous style is called Go To Style and I have it in the color uh, Shaded Biscuit. So stay tuned. So first I need to thank Wigs by Patty's Pearls for supplying this gorgeous style so I could do a review for you today. And as many of you know, I don't often wear short hair, but as I said earlier, many of you have been asking for some shorter styles for me to do reviews on. So I was super excited when I saw this one come out to be able to do a review for you. So you know what, when I first put this on my head, I thought I may need to play around with it and I wasn't sure how I was going to like it. But for those of you that like short styles and specifically love short styles that have a ton of versatility that you can take from day to night and style it in so many different ways, this is one you're going to want to check out. So as I said earlier, one of the best things about this style is its versatility and the ability to play around with the style and specifically these longer lengths at the front, regardless of how you choose to wear this style, gives you so many styling options all in one wig. So um, as I mentioned earlier, this is from this brand new from Raquel Welch's 2022 spring collection. It is made of their gorgeous true to life heat defiant fibers. Go to style is an average size cap and it has the memory cap three, which I absolutely love. It's the cap with the um, silicone strips on the wefting, which helps to help grip that wig onto your head. So this gorgeous style has an extended lace front. It has a left-handed monofilament part that goes all the way back to the crown. It has an extended velvet nape. It's an incredibly comfortable cap. Um, so as far as the lengths on this wig, the bangs are six and a half. So you see these longer sections and I'm gonna play around with it in a little bit so that we can take a look at all of the styling options but so you've got six and a half inches at the front here the crown which is this section here is five inches the nape is four the sides are two and the back is two and a half inches so you know the dimensions on this wig are really unique and that's what makes this style in my opinion outstanding and really one of a kind the other great feature about Go To Style is its weight. So this is a very light wig coming in only at 2.8 ounces. So it's gonna be cool and light and very wearable all day long, which is amazing. So why don't I get to the good part and do a turn so that you can see Go To Style on all sides. And then we're gonna play around with these lengths um, to show you the different ways that you might wanna style it. So this is my front. And I, as you can see, have this side tucked down the side. There's so many different ways that you could wear this style. Here is my right side and you'll see that gorgeous nape that tapers in so beautifully. Now I do have a very long natural hairline down the back of my neck so I'm hoping that all of my hair is tucked up so that you can see this gorgeous nape. My left side and so I can, that's what it looks like on the side with it untucked or as I was wearing it earlier, tucked behind my ear and then back to the front. So when I first got this wig out of the box and on my head, I could not stop playing around with the lengths and all the different ways that you could wear this. So as you can see, I've got it sort of swept over my one eye um, and then these longer pieces what I find outstanding is how how easy it is to manipulate the fibers. And to me, it speaks to the incredible cut and the quality of the fibers themselves that allow us to style it. Like I've used zero product on this wig. Um, and so why don't I just play around with it? So if I wanted to wear it off of my face, you could, and you wanted some big hair, 
you could absolutely do that. And you could, if you love volume at the crown, um, but you know what I find is oftentimes styles that can get a lot of volume also are difficult to tame. And I don't find that that's the case with this wig, which I really love. Um, so there we go. I can sort of brush it down to the side and you can see that side, sweep it over. You could tuck this side if you wished. I don't think that's the most flattering. I think the most flattering is just letting these gorgeous layers do what they want to do. Like how beautiful is that? Um, and then if you wanted to untuck this side, like look at that incredible hairline and laying of these fibers. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I tend to end up tucking it on the side. It's just a habit of mine. But what you will see is you have these longer or sorry, shorter pieces at the ear tab here, but then you have these longer lengths. If you don't like these longer lengths, you have a couple of options. Number one, tuck it behind your ear. And if you didn't like that still, it's very easy to cut these pieces off. But I love them. I think that it's gorgeous. I would personally absolutely leave them and then just style it differently um, if you didn't care for those longer pieces. But, you know, you could absolutely take this style from day to night um, and have many different looks depending on what your preferences are. So I have go-to style in what many of you already know is my favorite Raquel Welch blonde, which is Shaded Biscuit. So for those of you that don't know, Shaded Biscuit is a rooted blonde color. And then the blonde itself is a mix of light ash blonde blended with cool platinum and with that dark root. I think it's a dynamic blonde. I think it's incredibly natural. I love how light and bright it is. Um, I think it's gorgeous and frankly, one of a kind in the marketplace um, as far as blondes. So for you, those of you that think that short hair is for the older generation, I think this style challenges all of us that may think that way. Because to me, this style is so suiting whether you're in your 30s or whether you're in your 60s or your 70s, it, it, it hits the mark for across the board. You know what, you can wear this very traditional or you could wear this incredibly funky depending on your style and your preference. I think this is a great new style. So I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at go-to style as much as I have sharing it with you today. So thanks for joining, stay well and stay safe. Bye everybody.